pretty impressive, I think. It's time to do an unboxing. It's a bike by Polygon. It's a bike I don't know much about. Right, I'll rip straight into a couple of the basics straight up. Polygon is an Indonesian company that has a big range of bikes. In Australia, it is distributed by Bicycles Online. As that name would suggest, you can buy Polygon Online. I didn't buy this one. It's a review bike that's been loaned to me. And I'm going to do a series of videos about what it's like when it comes out of the box, about what it's like as I put it together, just like you might if you bought the bicycle online. And then I'm going to ride it. And then it could be that I do a few variations to the spec and I'm going to make comments and appraisal as this series unfolds. So this is a polygon review of a road bike and that's my intro out of the way. Next you'll see a box. At the risk of going a bit long with this review, I'm going to try and cover as many details as I can. You may find that I start doing a bit of speed talking, but that's just because I don't want these videos to be terribly long-winded and I want to give you as much information as I possibly can in the time that I have the bike. I'm not sure how long it's going to be. It's a pretty open-ended arrangement with Bicycles Online. They said, would you like a bike to review? And I said, sure, if you'd like me to do that. And that's how it all turned up. Within five days of striking that uh, very, very, very informal accord, I got a call, Rob, your box is here. Would you like to come and collect it? And I said, sure. The box that sits over there has been in the office for a couple of days and I've resisted the temptation to open it because I wanted to document everything, which is what I'm about to do. Let's have a look at the packaging. I want you to consider it as though you were a customer and I'll do the same and I've got a very basic workshop in this office. I've got a couple of odds and ends of tools, a work stand and uh, not a huge deal of mechanical know-how. Well, certainly not in comparison with your local bike shop. Okay. Then, handlebar stems. Front wheels, these are included, that may need to be assembled. Handlebar and stem, front wheel, saddle, seat post, reflectors, pedals. Tools required, additional content, tick, 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 and then all well and good. Um, the fork is here, and, uh, and that's all I know. There, ta-da, let's go. So. I think it's important to show you that because you want to know how it uh, how presents um, if you're going to buy it online. And you want to know it's easy to unpack. So just bringing it into the picture, I'm pulling those Velcro uh, handles because they seem obvious. So there you have it. You know more about it than I do because I haven't seen it because that just slipped out. And good news. Good news for me, it's got wheels. Complete with rotor, weighs in at 1324 grams, Schwalb 1, 28 mil. It's got the in-house brand from Polygon for the wheels. I can tell you it's got Schwalb 1 tyres. I can't tell you the measurements yet. Let's delve a little deeper, shall we? Jump online, you go tack, 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 you, you pick the bike that you like, you pick the colour that you like, you pick the spec that you like, you do some customizations. At the point of ordering, I would suggest you do as many, you tick as many boxes as you can so that it comes as set up for you as it can possibly be. Because the Polygon model is that most of the mechanic, the detailed mechanic work, including bleeding of the brakes, fine tuning of the gears, fitting of the tyres, is all done in house to a point where once the box arrives, it's essentially ready to ride after a few little minutes of tinkering and doing those aforementioned fittings of parts. These are tubeless ready wheels, but they're not tubeless set up. So I'm going to flip that. That's one little mechanical amendment that I'm going to make because since I started with tubeless back in October 2020, I've never looked back. I've had a few punctures. I've had a few little mishaps here and there, including a broken valve. But if you haven't tried tubeless tyres and your bike accepts them, May I suggest that you give it a burl because it, for me it's a, it's a very practical system. I feel quick, I like the way that they roll and tubeless is, the, is my preference in 2023. As mentioned, 
not tubeless yet. That's a tube valve with a, a huge extension. All combined, I'll get the scales and I'll tell you, all combined, this wheel, as you see it here, complete with 12 sheet cassette, rotors already installed, handy, um, with the, um, the DT Swiss patented um, lock ring, you know the system. So that's a 140 mil rotor, okay? The wheels are entity. Had to look for that because it's quite subtle uh, graphics. And it says entity WRS 500 or something, maybe, potentially, not really sure, don't really care. Um, there's a little bit of pressure in those tyres already. Schwab ones, fantastic, great tyres, and they are 28 mil. Okay, so Schwab one, 28 mil, tubeless ready, but um, currently tubed. Everything, okay, tubes, I've mentioned it already. 1660 grams, one kilo, 660 grams, as it is, without sealant, with tubes. So we've got the handlebars, or one portion of the handlebars, including the hook, keeping that in place, okay? Thirteen hundred and twenty-four grams. Tires, rotors, stickers, warning stickers, valves, valve tops. Ample padding and very well considered and spaced according to, you would imagine, to the size of the bike. So, one more little Velcro strap. Two more Velcro straps. One for the head tube, one for the stem. Okay. Just leaning it against the box, I can say that the finish on this has got a lovely sheen and there's a texture. Oh, I've just filled that in, so that's new for me now. I'm feeling this part of the uh, down tube and there's a textured, uh, I don't know what you call that, but there's a, a pattern on it and it's got a ripping listen. That's my fingernail scraping along. And it's only a bit of dust on it. So it's the ACX light frame. And the uh, thing that I've been told is the frame that you see here with the Durace is the same as the frame that you would see with the 105 equivalent, in other words, same frame, different group sets, notably different pricing. Okay, continuing with the unboxing, almost there. Won't go for even more. There's a funky looking shape. You can assume that there's something else inside there. So let's have a look, let's explore together. So that's just designed that way for, you know, packaging and shipping, right? Because only this was inside. And the warning label says, ensure the seat, this bit, Ensure the seat is inserted beyond the minimum insertion mark. Use a torque wrench. Tighten the seat post binder wedge bolt to a maximum of 10 newton meters. There is the minimum. Just here. Bye bye warning. Okay, I've got your message. 10 newton meters, eh? And then your little top cap uh, flush plate, let's call it. I don't know. Cover, plastic cover. I'll tidy all of that up and it'll look bloody beautiful because seat post. As you can see, it's got that lovely gloss. See how it changes colour in the light, maybe, potentially. I don't know if you can see that, but I can. And it matches the frame. Well, from uh, where I stand, that looks terrific. Saddle, entity. Yeah, I actually got a lot to say about saddles in the modern world because they've changed a lot. This has got your power saddle approach, the uh, short one from uh, Specialized. Looks incredibly wide here. I'll give you the measurements there. From a glance, I'd say that's bloody massive compared to what I'm accustomed to riding. Anyway, you'll see more of that in a little while when it's uh, sitting on the bike as I know it. Let me ride along. Utility box. Oh, 
very traumatic. So there's the bike now. That's a hell of a lot lighter than 19 and a half kilos, I can tell you. And there's still a fair bit to pull off that. But we've got a good understanding of now what it looks like and also what you will see where you get your delivery should you buy this bike. This is funny. We've got the DI2 uh, cables for the wireless shifting. You understand? Yeah, that's sort of an ironic statement. We've got a little bit of uh, masking tape here just to hold the... Uh, wedge uh, for the fastening of the seat post. We've got a fair bit of dust on the old girl before I've gone anywhere or just left it hanging in the shed. But um, yeah, these things happen. We've got a bloody terrific looking cockpit. Look at that. That looks pretty schmicko and look even better when I pull that bit of cardboard off. The hand one. <laughs> Bar tape, ooh, that's creepy. It's very thin, so very thin drops. Those handlebars complete with the, the uh, you know, integrated stem, and what I would say is a probably a 10 mil, you know, if you measured centre to centre on that configuration. That's expensive, and uh, you're getting all of that on a bike that's pretty bloody well priced. No hidden cages, I can live with that, I've got my own. That's totally rattle free, and uh, I'm going to put that on the work stand once I've got the seat post in, and we'll uh, take it from there. But that's how it looks coming out of the box. Terrific. There's no ambiguity that tells you which way the fork should be facing. Please, you know, like, if you don't know that, take it to a bike shop, really. If, you, if that needs to be spelled out, you're in trouble. Bonk, bonk. Ooh, tools. It's time to ride, you know, they do this. It's not new. You get a little uh, pedal spanner, very narrow one. Isn't that handy? 15 mil. You get a, uh, uh, the bicycle's online equivalent of torque wrench. Take it or leave it. And that's all the fittings for that torque wrench, which I don't know if I'll be using, but you, you can if you choose. A manual. Oh, I get asked so much about this. When I do bike tests, people ask so much about this. This is the uh, computer mount. Okay, so look, there's many variations, all right? And you can basically set it up. You can have a camera light, you can have, you know, a party on top, and, uh, you know, I don't know, you can do whatever you want. And evidently that fits underneath the vision handlebars, right? So that's probably a vision appliance. Ooh, reflectors. You've got a key ring if you really need more baggage in your pockets. A little uh, Shimano, um, you know, DI2 tooly thing. Oh, they have actually thought about it. They've said, hey, Rob, do you want tubeless? And Rob said, yeah, <laughs> even though they couldn't hear me. So they gave me some tubeless valves. That's pretty good. Big thumbs up for that one. Thank you very much. Be prepared, they say. I'll work that out. And it looks to do with the seat wedge. And I'll work that out. Shimano cable. Another Shimano cable. And a seat post clamp. Okay. Five mil uh, quick release skewer thing that doubles as a uh, through axle um, spanner. Right, that's my unboxing. Next comes the build. We've got the drop stays. You've got the opportunity to look inside the frame. I've seen many, 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 many bikes over the years, and um, you know, it takes a little while to adjust to how they look. Cranks, 170 mil. Second review bike in a row with slightly shorter cranks than I'm accustomed to, but I can't complain. These have also got a power meter, just like the last one did. That's the Helios frame on uh, Polygon's AX9, top end, Durace equipped road bike, well, I mean, uh, more to come in this series. Hope that didn't go too long, sorry if it did. And um, I'll tell you more about it as I discover more about it. Ta-da! Oh, I like that finish. Looks good, doesn't it? Let's see what comes next, okay? Thanks for watching to be continued quite obviously. I just need to put the pedals on and I'm off. That's bloody easy, yeah. Well, I mean, I've got to put some air in the tyres, but um, I would say if you got that box and you needed to ride within half an hour, you'd be, you know, 
you, you just want to do it efficiently, but you could get that job done pretty easily. So, terrific looking bike. I'll talk to you from the saddle. Okay, cool. Thanks. Bye.